Well, I've always been interested in uh, two different things. One is the history of modern Germany, particularly Nazism, about which I've written a great deal. And the other is how historians go about their work, which you might call historiography. So my projects on this programme are related to those two interests. The first of them is uh, looking at a particular form of conspiracy theory, which is really about conspiracy of silence, the idea that the whole world of historians, politicians, culture has conspired to suppress the truth. And in this case, it's Holocaust denial. That's to say, Holocaust deniers are people who say there was no mass murder of the Jews, six million Jews did not die, there was no plan, there were no gas chambers, and so on. And all that's been written and said about this, including the memoirs and testimonies of survivors, has all been part of the enormous conspiracy to delude the public about the truth. And obviously this has many different ramifications. Uh, it's connected partly with neo-fascism and neo-Nazism, and more recently with the rise of extreme Islamic uh, fundamentalists, uh, and in particular who've sought to delegitimize Israel by attacking its foundational myth. Um, and I want to look at how this whole phenomenon of Holocaust denial has developed in the last 20 or 30 years. There's been a good deal of work on, done on it in the 1950s, 60s and 70s, uh, and I was involved myself uh, in a, a libel case uh, 12 years ago uh, that centred on allegations of Holocaust denial, but uh, there's been relatively little uh, on uh, its recent phenomenon and how, particularly how that connects to the notion of conspiracy and how the deniers think that this conspiracy of silence has been established and maintained. And then the other thing I want to look at is uh, what you might call fantasy history. Uh, increasingly in the last few years, there's been the development of history books that claim to uncover long-term conspiracies, sometimes going back 2,000 years. Uh, these can take fictional forms, uh, as in the work of Dan Brown, for example, world bestseller, claiming there's been a conspiracy to suppress the truth about um, Jesus Christ having had a, a child and, uh, and so on. Uh, or it can be uh, in the form of conspiracy theories about underground movements that have survived the Middle Ages and are steering events from behind our, in our own day. Um, and there are quite a lot of these. Um, some of them are very specific. Uh, for example, there have been books claiming that uh, Adolf Hitler, the Nazi dictator, did not die, did not commit suicide in 1945. Um, but was um, spirited away to South America where he had uh, two children and survived several decades, or that the body of uh, Rudolf Hess, um, his deputy, who was imprisoned in Spandau jail, uh, was uh, not his body, it was not him. Uh, there are many th theories about uh, individuals, conspiracy theories that seem to attract a wide public, and I want to look at these um, different ways of, uh, of writing and propagating what I call fantasy history uh, to try and discover whether the authors really believe in what they're saying, uh, whether people who consume this really believe that it's true, or whether we're engaged in some kind of double think uh, where people think it's a nice idea, it's fun to speculate, but really we can't actually prove it.